Hey there, Postal here. So today we are taking out one of my favorite planes in the game, the F-6U Pirate. Uh, this is a tier 9 American fighter plane, light fighter. And um, we're in a tier 10 battle. I need to... Do I not smell Marauder? That's the question. Pilot, I say, get ready for uh, Let's go. There we go. Um, so, done typing. Let's go ahead and let's get over to the command center. Missouri Marauder is a really good player, if I remember correctly. I haven't seen him in a while, but I remember him being very good. Um, we've got gunships on the enemy team, and we have the man with no hair. Man with no name, man with no something. I don't know why I'm in such a rush to get to the damn command center first. Um, it's probably because this plane is just freaking fast, right? And it is very, very fast for tier 9, especially. It's one of the fastest uh, tier 9 fighters that I've got in my hangar. Um, and there's not a lot at tier 9 that can't stick with heavy fighter or not, to be honest. Go ahead and we're gonna flip over here. Now it's not a very maneuverable plane by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, is it not? Uh, is it considered maneuverable? And so I've actually gone ahead and maxed out or tried to max out the airspeed for this particular plane. Uh, because its airspeed is so good and its maneuverability is so not good. Well, I'm not gonna spend all my freaking time trying to get a plane that's not very maneuverable to become maneuverable. Let's go ahead and make a plane that's already fast, even more fast. God dang it. And so you'll see I play it like that. I play like I don't have a lot of maneuverability. What I do have, you might be sitting there going, what the heck? This is not American guns. These are not 50 cal pew pews. These are some big boy uh, 20 mil cannons. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, we do have some big boy 20 millimeter cannons here, and they do hit pretty darn well, don't they? Uh, definitely one of the perks of the F6U over any of the other American um, fighters. If you happen to like 20 millimeter cannons, this plane's got them. Um, is this is the crossover plane to the American heavy planes, and as such, you get the American heavy plane guns. Um, very similar to the. Um, pancake guns, but these are the exact same guns that you get on the F2H, and the exact same guns that you get on the um, uh, XF90. So I've moved like halfway across the world over here, went to initially get the uh, command center, and now I'm over here by the, uh, the mining facility. Let's go ahead and help cap the mining facility at this point. We're over here. Enemy bombers inbound. Don't let them reach their target. And then we'll have to go over and get that command center. I'm sorry, Marauder's probably uh, grateful that we didn't get the command center because it just gives him more stuff to cap wherever the heck he is. Let's go ahead and paying attention to what's inbound here. It's a GA, so I don't want to be too stressed out about that. Yeah, the altitude performance on this plane is not the best by any means. Um, but when you've got this kind of airspeed, it doesn't really matter. If I could, you know, not overheat my guns, I'd probably do even better. Let's go ahead and head straight down. Am I going to actually cap a freaking mining facility uh, just by killing stuff? We'll see. I thought there was a GA down here. Maybe he died. Maybe just nobody can see him because nobody's down here. I don't know. Yeah, there he is. Oh, there's actually a multi roll as well. Let's go ahead and up and over this bad boy, huh? I do not have a very maneuverable plane, and he's got ridiculously good cannons, but felt I had the um, advantage on him. I do need to be mindful of that in the future. He took out, what, a third of my health with one hit. Um, so we'll go from there. 
gonna try to kill this uh, GA over here. We've got a heavy fighter, and then we're gonna head back to the center. We actually need to get to the. Uh, yeah, I know, dude. I know. That. Kill this guy. Tap, 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 tap. Got my engine knocked out again. That's no good. No, it's bueno. Definitely not a good thing when you've only got one. When you've only got one uh, engine and you get that one engine knocked out, it's toast. Well, good. I guess that gets us closer to the um, command center quicker. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to be aware that um, uh, the hunter on the enemy team is going to have a significant hard on for us. Yeah, bad timing. I could have spawned in the center there. If he came all the way across the map just to come and get us, he's definitely going to be paying attention to us. Uh, but that's fine. If I didn't have my engine knocked out, I think I would have been fine. 600 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and put this gun to some use. I don't think I can outmaneuver a MIG, believe it or not. And a MIG's not known for its maneuverability, but... Excellent, got him knocked out. Got this sector, even better. Things are looking up. Speaking of looking up, let's go to 228. 228 has the same damn guns as the Hunter, so let's not go head on. Can't really see where he was facing, so I just wiggled just to make sure. Better safe than sorry, right? feel like there's some sort of lag going on there because I was not hitting where I was aiming. Alright, so they've got the mining facility. Let's go ahead and take care of everything that we can take care of. If I can get this guy knocked out, that'd be super swell. Nice. I don't really want to have to deal with a MIG at high altitude, to be honest. Nice. Perfect. Let's get down. So we are much higher than we really want to be. Um, holy cow. Don't come on head on me here. wing. I've just engaged my uh, pneumatic control assist, so I can actually outmaneuver this guy. Still struggling, though. Come on. Come on. Boop! Excellent. Alright, let's move along. We're gonna get uh, that guy right there. facility quicker rather than later. Come on guns, come on guns, come on guns. I hate when you're just like in our I don't have time for this, don't have time for this kind of mode. And your guns don't want to work with you. Good, we've got that mining facility. Let's see if I can get this guy really quick while he's not paying attention. Nope, don't need to. Go ahead and get this HG3. Let's go ahead and get this Hornet, because we're over here. They've only got two people still alive. Um, so let's capture this really quick. Excellent. We need to move along, move along, move along. We've got this MIG and a TU-12. Alright, so we can knock out this MIG, right? We're up four sectors to one, so I think we've got this. Let's not F it up, though. This postal's been known to F things up. Nice. Almost all enemy aircraft are destroyed. 
All right, I think we got this. I think we got this, boys. Man, that was kind of... That was more intense than it should have been, but... I guess intense is good. It's good for YouTube. It's good for my heart, I'm sure. That guy's toast, isn't he? Yep. Whew, man. I'm proud of you, pilots. Well, that's a game and a half. Holy freaking crap. Um... <laughs> let's uh let's head on back all right so we did 13,000 damage to aerial targets there 600 capture points three sectors captured which i mean this plane is pretty good at capturing sectors just because of the the way that the guns can hit 21,000 personal points uh we got our ace got our mccampbell got our Koza dub uh got a grade one of course and a lot of, a lot, a lot of, I mean, like, I would not have been able to, obviously. So I don't want to, like, pat myself on the back by any means. Um, but Missouri Marauder. And I, and I was pretty confident once I saw that he was on my team that the two of us would be able to win this. I wasn't necessarily expecting me, honestly, to even be number one because I've played many a game with him. Eh, well, I'd say many. Half a dozen games with him, and he's always been a really, really good player. Man with no hair I've never run into before. Um, but man, he was doing really well too. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and unfortunately, like gunships, and I've ran, I've played plenty of games with gunships, and you know, been on the receiving end of um, you know some dogfights. Um, it just happened. The hunter just kind of gets outclassed by an F6U. At least my F6U. So let's take a quick look at my F6U. Um, we'll take a look at the equipment in just a second here. But the consumables, I've got my standard my standard consumables here for. Um, first aid dressing. It's just I can't tell you if I've ever put anything else. Yeah, there's no reason to put anything else on this plane or any plane that I can think of, to be honest. Fire extinguisher. Um, you might put it on a Japanese or a Yak before your pilot learns the um, fire uh, fireman or whatever um, skill point. This one right here. Firefighter. Haha. <laughs> Um, but once you learn firefighter for your Japanese or Yak pilot, then, then, then you definitely don't need the fire extinguisher. And I'd even argue even in, even before you get the firefighter point on your pilot point, you'd still want first aid dressing over firefighter point. You just deal with the fires. Um, I put pneumatic control assist on here cause the wings don't get knocked out very often. The wings and tail don't get knocked out very often. And on top of that, just from time to time, as you saw when I was fighting that MiG-15 or those um, bat wings, it's just nice to get your um, increased maneuverability and just, you know, f get yourself, um, you know, do a, maneuverable, a maneuver that you wouldn't normally do in this plane because the F-60U is so unmaneuverable. I don't usually dogfight in that manner, but it's nice to every once in a while do that if I need to against a plane like a MiG or a bat wing that... I can become on par with with pneumatic control assist. I'd never do that against a saber, or um, you know, like a yak or anything like that. It'd just be a waste. Uh, other than that, I've got engine cooling, and I'm showing you right now. I've I've gone almost all in when it comes to airspeed. I've got improved mixture control on here to help with the engine thrust and the overall cruise speed. I've got the and I just put it at ultimate ultimate polished skin on here. Um. And then I've got the um, high-speed gas turbine on here. What I liked about the boost characteristics on this was you've got engine cooldown rate, 15% boost, and then you've got just boost availability um, increased by 5%, which kind of helps counteract the boost availability that you lose just from the special part. Um, and then last but not least, I did want to give a little bit of maneuverability just because at Tier 9, you run into a lot of Tier 10s, and I don't need to be completely outclassed when it comes to maneuverability. So I've gone ahead and um, you know put the lightweight power unit on here. GOA, um, you know, in my opinion, for this particular plane is the, is the best um, option. Just getting your rate of fire up as high as you possibly can, and then to help counteract that um, accuracy, we've got the gyroscopic sight. So that way we can you know the accuracy that you'd lose from the GOA is more than countered by the sight. And then you also get a bunch of uh, chances of inflicting critical damage, which I'm sure you saw knocking out wings, knocking out engines, uh, just knocking out planes in general with this particular plane. Now, obviously I've got this plane specialized. 
Uh, obviously, I've, I've just got it up to ultimate equipment, but I've posted videos on the F6U before, and I've flown, and uh, many of you might have seen me on uh, stream on Twitch. I fly this plane um, there as well, and I had never had ultimate equipment on it until now. It's still a really good plane, even just out of the box. Um, granted, you're, you're still going to want to um, do what you can to, to maximize it when it comes to equipment. You definitely want to maximize the airspeed. As I said, the airspeed starts off pretty darn good. Um, definitely above average and you can really get just really really push it um, and kind of counteract its low altitude performance considering you know it's in the the optimal altitude is pretty low compared to other it's definitely just straight up low compared to other um, tier 9 fighters so anyway I absolutely love this plane um, oh I completely forgot about this so I'll answer this because I know somebody's gonna ask me you know how's you know what's going uh, because I'm still grinding on the EU, and because I've got a job I've got to go to, uh, you know, in a few hours, and I still got a lot of work to do outside of the game, I am not, you know, trying for any kind of rating position. I'd love to, um, you know, just to see what I could do and see where I could get as far as the rating is concerned. Um, but it would just take too much of my time to be able to do that, and I just don't, ha I just don't have time, um, for better or for worse. But I think the um, the event that they've got going on is pretty cool. I just think the I wish it was built more on like averages rather than overall amounts, because somebody that has the ability to play the game for eight hours a day or more, and I know there's some of you out there that are gonna be playing it more, um, are going to have a leg up on people that can only play it for a couple hours or even four hours in a day. Um, you know, I've only had the opportunity. I've been playing for a little less than an hour, and now I got to hop on the EU server. Um, and I'll play probably for about an hour there, and then I got, you know, stuff outside of the game to do. So it'd be cool if they had a, a mission that was, like, based on averages. Like, hey, you know, at a minimum threshold of 100 games or something like that. Maybe not 100 games, but whatever. Um, and, you know, had best average. I know they've done that in the past. Um, so, yeah, just having an overall rating points is like, eh, okay. Um, there's not a lot I can do in those kind of situations, so we'll just deal with it. But best of luck to everybody that's out there trying. I, um, you know, I, I don't. Um, it, hey, if you can do it, do it. That's basically what, what I would try to say to that. If you've got the time, um, feel free to get your, you know, get your your um, whatever rating you can get, and hopefully get some free stuff. So best of luck to y'all. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this particular battle. Um, how do you feel about the F6U? Is it, is it, you know, is it, do you enjoy it like this? Or do you, have you even gone down this particular line? I know the P51 line is not, um, you know, overly loved, except for maybe the Sabre. Um, but, you know, this, this plane is definitely, it's a, it's a hidden gem in my opinion. And it allows you to get to the, um, heavy fighters. It just has to be played in a very, very specific way. Um, and, and not like... A lot of other fighters out there. Well, anyway, so that's my opinion on a plane I absolutely love. I hope you enjoy the video, and well, hope you have a great day. Bye.